Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Animalia and our new district. I am the Marmoset, and I am proud to present Starfish Shores. Only this bit's actually on the shoreline, and as is usual, when you try and put roads on this bit, it tangents it there, and then has a large stope on this side, rather than digging out that side. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but we'll see what we can do. So what kind of patterns are we going to have on this? Well, we want to try and minimise the amount of road junctions we've got, but hmm, we've still got plenty of space. So these are triple lane roads we've got to come off here. So the next one down we want is these. Let's just uh, keep with our slightly arced pattern. Have that come out to there. Have that come out to there. A little way along. Trying to keep the number of junctions reasonably sane. Well, sane enough for me. <laughs> Now what we'll do is we'll fill these spaces in. With lots of the lowest rank roads. See it's smoother if you do it that way. Remember to keep the one that comes off the end. The edge of our city, the gentlemen, our city limits. Have we got three on each? Yes, three on each. So we'll stick one there, one there. Not a lot of space to stick one there. Um, so we'll have one that comes off the end about that far. So, let's bring the speed back up to speed 1, switch down a side again to our smallest road size. I think we'll leave that as the outer red, so we'll just fill in off here for now. And when we get out here it should be pretty quiet. Let's switch to straight roads. And we'll alternate them so we've got plenty of space between them. So quite, it's going to be all be low density, like previous districts have been, but I do want it to be well packed, shall we say. Well packed indeed. There's a ding in the background there, ladies and gentlemen. The sign that one of our Little commute another member of our little community has decided they want to be a little bit bigger. Right, we're going to need a lot of schools and a lot of services. And all this extra road work that's going in is going to cost us a bit. Fortunately, we're making a large amount of money, so I am not what you would call immediately concerned. Try and minimize the number of junctions by making them both directions where we can. Hopefully there'll be some space for some pretty big parks later on so we can get the land value in this area up. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this layer actually. I like the the colour scheme of the uh, the roadways. It's all going to be a huge great big area of starfish shores so I might pick an arm and make it something else. Yeah, let me start off his shores for now. Yeah, we'll probably want to strap some commercial onto some of the mainer arteries later. So let's bring you out to... Oh, let's uh, fill in the other arms from the other side first. Again, I'm going to leave that so we've got a nice bit of a gap. Come out to there. Come out to there. Come out and fill that gap in. Ooh, it's going to cost us a lot of money in terms of getting water and power out here. And the moving in. Oh, good heavens, the moving in. 
whole for a lot of people trying to move in. So let's bring that one out all the way to here. See, all the people in Jellyfish Horror is going, and Dalmatian Knight's going, it was so quiet, it was so good. fine, absolutely quiet, and then suddenly vast numbers of people suddenly started moving in. Oh yes, that's what happens. Nope, I believe that's the space. Leave that gap in there for now. Nope, I want to curve the one that's on the shore side. There you go. Someone's already decided that that's a quicker way to get where they want to go. Where, my friend, are you trying to go? You are trying to, or well, you started there. You got hideously confused by something. And you're trying to get married to here. Cargo truck. Going to the valley residence. Oh, I, de I demolished your house. Oh, okay, that's why then. Oh. Fine. Anyway, I was in the process of... Now the sun is out! Huzzah! Getting a curved road. So we have some nice, expensive beachfront properties along here. And we'll keep doing the same here. Yes, you, you can be nice and close to the poop. Oh. Okay, apparently there is a tunnel if I want to. But that's the way it's going to be, apparently. Say la vie. It will not go down. <laughs> no, let's, uh, let's delete that road. Let's not put any housing along here. That would be smelly. Uh, that one curve. the same, and then we'll just switch back to being straight roads coming off here, in frequent intervals. No roads coming off there. Right, let's work over here next. Uh, no, there is space to put some roads in over this way. Too close. And I'll leave that there. Stupidly long roads. Because when you got when you start this point in the game, you have a large amount of money. You have the capability of doing exceedingly stupid things like this. It's too close. I should leave that empty space for now. Mm. Do you like the beach? You do. It's wonderful. Who's like the beach too? I like the beach so much. We're building on it. Leave that as empty space. Across from here. Across from here. Right. We're trying to work out what we want to do for this area, weren't we? Where we get the, the cross hatching between that. So let's drag 
that out to there. That's the main artery road. Drag that out to there. Let's... 90 degrees brings you out to about there. So let's have you come out to there. You come out to there. You come out to there. There. And then there. Grand. I've got some reasonable amount of empty spaces over here. Some trees. Oh, yes. The water pipes. Alright, let's start laying some of this service stuff in, shall we? What did it is the space already occupied by another pipe? Can't arc these. It's a tiny, tiny sliver. Let's make it 440, shall we, rather than 22 units. So we get an overlap instead. Yes, so I got bored with the thing where I was just trying to lay these out neatly. Now I'm just laying them out. Pipe network, you say? No, not really. Push the button of wrong. So, laying pipes. Laying pipes. Pipe laying. It's a bit, I don't know. There's not. I understand where this obviously needs to be in the game because they can't let you get away with it too easily. But the, with the water situation, it's kind of a case do you have enough water? Yes or no? Okay. It's unlike the roads where you have to spend a not insane amount of time, as you've seen making sure that the road network works or not. The water floweth along these pipes whether it wants to or not. So you don't ever really need to worry about like linking things up. It's not like other games where you can actually suffer a situation where you suffer from a water, some kind of water failure and it all goes horribly wrong. So that's the water in. We've got a separated power system over here. So that's actually probably going to get plugged in over time. Not going to worry about it too much. Uh, just going to stretch a power line across there that will help things grow. I will stretch a power line along here. Stretch a power line in there. I will stretch a power line all across the back of there. And down there. Okay, so over time these things will probably get removed and sorted out. Right, so that's power, vaguely. Um, we need to, oh yeah, the, the whole target. Next thing, next power thing we get. Not Megaropolis, Metropolis, Colossal City. Yes, we are very close to a Colossal City, which will give us a nuclear power plant, which will drastically solve a lot of our power problems. I'm probably going to stick it in over here so it's got an immediate connection. If we need to move it later, we'll move it. Um, or will I stick it in over here? I think I'll probably stick it in over here. I'll tuck it up under that so it's directly next to the motorway so we can make sure we can get all its supplies going to arrive to it nice and closely. I could put it here, but then it would run out of uranium and a nuclear power plant with any uranium. And it's a very, very expensive lawn ornament. And we don't like lawn ornaments. Well, not useless ones. So, let's start zoning. 
And the answer is almost into its in entirety. Low density. Right. Where do I want to put some commercial zones? Let us strip out that bit there. Let's make that light commercial. Look at the strip of light commercial along there. Let's dezone the roundabout. Don't want anything on that one. And then let us strip back those bits on the initial main roads. Because we keep the commercial nice and close to the main access ways, then we don't necessarily have to worry too much about the trouble of getting trucks and the like to it because it will be in a position where it is the most easiest for trucks to get to them. The only thing I want to do is we're going to start laying out our extra services and bits and pieces in a moment so that's the commercial to service this area. I will just briefly tuck a little bit more in on the end there, so those guys on the other side of the road don't have to go quite so far to get some milk. Milsh. Alright, there's an amount of commercial. If we end up with more commercial demand, there is space for me to do a little bit of work here. I'm going to fill in with a bit more commercial. I am overall I'm pretty hardly happy with Starfish Shores. It's got many legs. It's got many legs that turn to many legs, into many legs, into many legs. So it's a bit tentacular and a bit dendric. Possibly fractal? Yes, fractal is the word I want. Fractal. Shiny, 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 fractal, 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 shiny, shiny, fractal. Fractal, shiny, fractal, shiny. So, let's start going across. We've got water. These guys are going to need some kind of industrial support. Where is going to be best place to put that without causing too much in the way of pollution and problems. Hmm. Don't want to put it near the water. Don't want to put it in the absolute heart of the district. Yes, let us... <laughs> Is sticking it there? No, actually, because it's got pretty good access to the central roundabout, actually, isn't it? That would work quite fine. Also, actually, yeah, out here. Let's... As I was unsaying this, let's unzone that. Click U, and I will unzone in there instead of make those bits here. And a little bit of commercial for over here. Good, shiny. And then we will grab our. What is that radius noise? How much pollution do you guys actually generate? Uh, garbage. Pollution. Alright, so yeah, flat out, a lot of pollution. Okay. That's good. Very much unshiny. So I need to make sure if I'm going to have you guys anywhere, you are not going to be causing me too much in the way of problems of pollution. Hmm. How would you get to that road otherwise? Get to that road otherwise. I want it to be convenient. Hmm. 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 I am besmirked by my desire to find somewhere to put my landfills. I wish to find somewhere to store your poop people. Um. Yeah, out here. All the way on the end. Garbage. That's mostly noise. And a little bit of pollution. But I will, in response to that, unzone 
that and just outright demolish that road. So I will nope, not that one. Grab that. Keep your road to the other side. So you get a little bit of power. Can you generate a guy, these guys. Are you plumbed in? Yes, alright. Next thing is healthcare. Oh, I think probably what I'll do is I'll put an awful lot of the core services on this part of the roundabout. So that's the road going that way. So left hand drive, hospital, fire station, police station. That's all those ones. Now we want elementary school in the middle. of each zone and there and there oh actually your density in elementary density is much higher alright so let's put this in that and we'll put a pair of elementary schools in the centre of each area just one out here because it's much, much smaller. High school, we will put one in each area. Transport, education, don't need another university. Transport, transport indeed. Transport indeed. Interesting. Hmm. Give me the line map. Line 22. Of a very dark green. Do I have space for a new line? I don't. Well, let's stick it in. Let's start our new line. Here to here to here to there. <laughs> Interesting. To there. There and there. There and there. There and there. And then Here, 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 and there. I have plans for doing a bit of rework of this area, but when that happens, we will rearrange that. So let's then grab this line, make it a very dark purple. So we have a line that does that bit. Now, let's create a line that properly services our district. No, 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 I've gone too far, I've gone too far. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, it's the last line, isn't it? Line 24. Yes. That's just one long, in all, yeah, that line is too long. <laughs> Will actually be physically useful for anything with the length it is. Back one, please. Each spoke, with the exception of the expensive one, is going to have its own bus line. That will work nicely. Alright, I'm going to do this off camera. 
Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. We've built a Shores. We built Starfish Shores for Animalia, a whole new huge district to satisfy our demands. It hopefully will bring a whole new load of people into the area, which will demand more commercial, more residential, and hopefully more industrial. And I hope it gets over that magic 38,000 so we can build our nuclear power plant. Wahahaha. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Marmoset. Please remember to like and subscribe.